everyone. So we are going to see one more concept in approval process, which is nothing but recalling a record submitted. Okay. So for example, when you're submitting a record for approval and suddenly you remember that a few of the uh, fields is actually requiring some kind of editing work. Okay. So you can just recall the submitted record immediately before it is being approved. Okay, so that is the purpose of recall option in the approval process. Okay, so that is what I have given it as a text here. You can just go through this also. Okay, now we are going to do a hands on in the org. Okay, so in the org, if you see here, when you are actually having a, you're having an approval process already active, right? Just if you scroll down to the uh, bottom, you'll be able to see recall actions. Okay, so this is the one thing we haven't yet configured, right? So this is the option recall option. So when you want to recall a submitted record, so once if you configure here, you'll be able to do that. Okay, so before going to the recall actions okay first we have to enable the recall for the submitters okay so that we can do now with the help of this edit okay so this approval process is already activated only okay it is an active mode only so as i told you in the previous videos once the approval process is activated we will not be able to add new approval steps okay but we'll be able to edit other kind of fields here okay so these are all the fields are available for you to edit okay these are all the configurations you can just edit it okay so here i have the initial submitters right i'm going to choose this option so and in this option we have the you can scroll down you can see here allow submitters to recall approval request okay so this option if you choose you'll be able to see a recall option in the screen where you're actually submitting for the approval okay so only when you enable this it will be available for you okay so the submitters okay the submitters means the person who is going to submit the record for approval so once he submits the record for approval after submitting the record if he feels that if he wants to do some kind of uh, editing work in the record if there is any kind of configuration is required in the record and mistakenly if he, ha if he has submitted then he can actually use this recall option to recall the record from the approval okay so let us save this once this is checked let us save this okay now what are we going to do is we are going to uh, do a field update here okay so why we need a field update okay so once the record is submitted for the approval so recall option will be going for a recall only after the submission right so once the record is submitted for the approval the initial action will be already applied to your record okay the field will be changed to pending and all those things will be happening right so in order to change the records field update back to the uh, form okay so it is it will be in the pending right so even if you recall if you don't provide here any field update it will be remaining in the pending state only okay so to avoid that we are going to do one field update in the recall action also okay let us add new here a field update Okay, so I'm going to give the, I'm going to choose the field here. Okay, we have approval status here, right? So in this, I'm not going to choose any value, which means, so I'm going to leave the uh, approval status as empty. So when a new opportunity record is created, my approval status will always be empty only, right? When the new record is created, okay? So once the record is submitted for the approval, my status will change to appending right so after the submission only uh, sales rep preeti remembers that she has to do some kind of uh, editing in the record and she tries to recall the record okay so when she tries to recall the record the approval status will remain in the pending state only unless and otherwise you are going to do some kind of configuration here okay so according to our business requirement i just want to change this particular approval status back to empty only okay so if you want you can add one more value here recalled or something else you can use here okay so for now i'm going to use this none okay i don't want to have any value on my approval status record so which will be the same when the record is being created okay once the record is created initially the approval status will be empty only once it is recalled also i want my record to be back in the empty only the approval status should be empty okay so i'm going to choose this one okay i'm not going to choose any value just i'm going to leave it as none and i'm going to give here as recalled recall status okay and just save this okay I hope it is clear, right? Now, let us log in as Preeti and create a record. You will understand more clearly now, okay? Let us log in as user Preeti, okay? 
and let us create a test record okay a simple record fine let us create a new opportunity record now and let us create a record which will be entering with the criteria okay we have some entry level criteria right so in order to send this record to the approval process we have to create a record accordingly let us say it as uh, test 2 and i'm going to give the amount as 3 lakhs okay so it will go for the manager approval right so i'm going to give some close date and stage as negotiation review okay so i'm going to create a record like this fine so if you see here uh, now the record is created okay so i'm going to submit it for approval okay so let me submit for approval and uh, so i'm going to submit it and once it is submitted i just remember that i have to do some kind of uh, editing work in the close date okay so i can just recall immediately before the manager is approving my request okay it is in the pending state only and if you see here the approval status is also pending in our record because the initial submission action is actually working here okay so once the record is submitted for approval automatically the field will be changed to pending right so let us just uh, see whether the recall option is available for us or not you can see here there is a new drop down in the approval history right just click this okay we have an option called recall right so now i'm going to recall this particular request okay so let us say it as recall okay and once I click recall, you can see here the status of this particular record will become here recalled. Okay, so the, the status will be recalled from the pending it's changed, changed to recalled and in our record, if you see here the custom field has become empty again. Okay, so this is what we have configured in the approval process also in the recall actions, right? So I made it as none here, okay, empty. Okay, so now it is actually looking like a new record and now you will be able to edit the record also. Okay, so once the record is submitted for approval, it will be in the locked mode, right? Once it is recalled, it will be in the unlocked mode. Okay, so I'm actually editing the record and I'm actually saving this record. Okay, so this is how we'll be recalling the submitted approval. Okay, now you can just reconfirm or test the record whether this record is waiting for approval or not by uh, going inside the Steve manager. Okay, let us go to the home page of the Steam Manager and check. Okay, let us just click this uh, app and just, just check there. Okay. So let us go to the home page of the QRT approval process. You can see here in the items to approve, we have nothing to approve here. Okay. So we have actually submitted the approval and then we have recalled it. Okay. So no records to approve here. Okay. This is how we'll be actually recalling the submitted approval. Okay. Before it is being approved by the manager or someone else. Okay, so this is, also, this is a small concept all about this recall option. Okay, I hope this video is clear, right? Let us meet in the next video. Thank you. If you are interested to learn Salesforce, visit AJ Skill Development website. There you can find our course curriculum and you can come to know about the list of courses we are offering. We are offering Salesforce Administrator and Salesforce Development courses. To know about us and the team, you can visit our About Us section. This is an organization we are doing at Salesforce training from 2018 and we have trained and guided 2000 plus candidates so far. And if you also want to know about our placement assistance, visit our placement assistance section where you can find the list of people and the category. You can see the list of people who got uh, trained and placed from our side. You can also visit their LinkedIn pages to get to know about our trainee and also the feedback from the relevant trainees okay and also if you want to do the course inquiry click on contact us you will see the form you can fill the form and submit the inquiry our team will get back to us thank you